Now to a developing story in Tarrant County in its appraisal district website. Less than 10 minutes ago, board members wrapped up an emergency meeting to address last week's ransomware attack. Comes as hundreds of thousands of people who use the website are waiting to learn whether their personal information was compromised. And if so, what happens next? Scoop Jefferson uh, joins us live right outside the appraisal district offices in Fort Worth. I have to imagine homeowners are asking, what is going on? Yeah, a lot of questions tonight, Chris and Cynthia. The appraisal board will go back into the meeting they just came out of. They started tonight's emergency meeting trying to convince the public that they've turned over a new leaf. There's a new chief appraiser, a new board chair. There's also new board members, but they're dealing with an old problem. Hackers are dealing, hackers rather, are using ransomware to demand money from the board. We just learned that they are demanding Ending $700,000 in order to give Tad back its website. It's an old problem that they've been dealing with because this is not the first time. How big this breach is this time is still a question. I would be monitoring my credit. Cybersecurity experts like Martin Yarborough are warning property owners across Tarrant County. After the Tarrant Appraisal District says it got hit by hackers with ransomware, Yarborough says. I would immediately go in and change any financial passwords that I had set up, either on bank accounts or bill pay. Uh, I would make my passwords very complex. Tad said someone hacked the agency system on March 21st, crashing its website. They've notified the FBI and the Texas Department of Information Resources. This is what happens when people look up their property information on the Tad website. It's the second attack since 2022. More than likely, they got into the same mechanism. I've got two messages. Property tax protest expert Chandler Crouch addressed Tad during their emergency meeting. He's concerned about the timing of the breach. It comes just weeks before Tad's April 15th deadline to send notices to property owners. Crouch's message? Give us comfort by letting us know that you're going to put together a plan. That's the number one thing. The second thing that I'm going to tell them is that this circumstance is exactly why we can't just forget about the past. A past that is haunting the appraisal district once again. Now, we did learn tonight that the ransomware demand uh, came in the form of a letter. Again, they're asking for $700,000. We don't have a timeline yet on when that money has to be paid, and we do know that uh, operations. They do have their phone system and uh, it's back up and running. The agency is working with an outside company to investigate uh, the breach itself. Again, we'll continue to follow the investigation and bring you the latest once we learn it. Again, the board is back in executive session. We'll have more on this coming up tonight at 10. Back to you in the studio, Cynthia. Let's